It's going to be really interesting. All right. Also, Texas, Oklahoma, Saturday at the Cotton Bowl. And the story this week has been the fact that neither one of them are ranked, uh, but it's still Texas OU. And this story, Pete Thamel reporting that uh, sources saying that Quinn Ewers will return for Texas on Saturday, expected to start in the Red River game. We'll have Jeff Howell, who covers Texas at around 510 today. Uh, the story was out that he was going to return, and Pete Thamel takes it to a level that is expected to start based on sources. I always thought that this was kind of the, the – this is when they penciled this in, maybe even thinking that Oklahoma-Texas would be a bigger game. It's still a huge game because of the rivalry, and one of these two teams is going to be in a free fall. Whoever doesn't win, and the other one may get a little jump kickstart to the rest of their season. Uh, I think, yeah, this – that's not surprising news, really. Uh, I mean, it's it, it expected he's going to be back at some point in the next you know, few weeks, and this just lines up to, to make a lot of sense for it to be his big return. I know it's got to make Longhorn fans just salivate over the possibilities of what he could do to that you know, Oklahoma defense. At the same time, they better hope he does perform well. Like if he comes out there and somehow they still get a, you know, a W, uh, Oklahoma that is, and that would be – that would be something pretty crazy, uh, given what we saw last week. So, yeah, that's a huge morale boost uh, and and good surprise. I or not surprised, but good news for for Texas and uh, for Oklahoma. I mean, I think you got so many problems in house right now that yours is just maybe maybe that adds a little something to it. But I think you're already worried enough about Hudson Card as is. So yeah, they've got their work cut out for him even more so probably now because we know that he can sling it. And I think it'll be you know interesting to see him out there for the first time in a while and see more than the glimpse that we got against Alabama because you really think about how much we've seen Quinn Ewers we've seen a sample size basically uh now if he's he's ready to get back in the saddle starting with Oklahoma I think that's great news for Texas and uh let's see where the ride takes him all right also this news on a quarterback from the state of Texas as far as in a game this weekend A&M playing in Tuscaloosa against Alabama Ian Fitzsimmons who's been a guest on this show Tell you, saying and reporting that AM uh, Max Johnson has a broken bone in his throwing hand. Sadly, according to Ian's tweet, he might be done for the season, at least for the foreseeable future. The foreseeable future is Saturday night in Tuscaloosa. So back to the Haynes King getting, you would think, the start for Texas AM this weekend. Yeah, yeah um, that's just another tough blow for, for Texas AM. I mean, I guess this basically. It calms down the Jimbo talk in so many ways, and I know people will probably say, "Well, why is that? Why would it calm it down?" Because I mean, now what do you what do you expect from him? Now that now another quarterback's hurt, so they have no choice but to go to Haynes King. We already know what that's looked like. Now they're playing Alabama. I mean, I guess in theory they could come up with some magical surprise performance this weekend, but I don't think anybody's really expecting that. Now you know one of your options is hurt. So um, yeah, just tough year gets tougher for a and I, I do think this softens kind of the talk around Jimbo just because now you're down a guy that you're going to be relying on. Um, not that that's going to calm all talk about his job and the job that he's doing and the buyout and all that, but I just, it's one of those, it's like, it's like Sarkeesian. Like, are you going to fire him because Quinn Ewers is hurt? You know what I mean? Like, I think having an injury at quarterback kind of changes the talk a little bit because you're not dealing with your full your full arsenal. But, um, you know, at the same time, how good was Max Johnson going to be the rest of the way? We don't know that either. Uh, we do know, however, what we saw with Haynes King, and hopefully things have gotten a little better for him. Um, but, yeah, it's just not great right now in College Station, and uh, there's still a long way to go in this season. So uh, best of luck to Max Johnson. But that's a really you know tough break, no pun intended, for that young man. Um, just really unfortunate for him.